Good morning, people. Can you hear us? Good morning. So good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's OPEC Commission Community Meeting. I am serving today as the pro temp chair of the OPEC Commission. I would like to acknowledge and introduce our other OPEC Commissioner, Mr. Peter Alvarez. He is chair of the Civilian Review Board. We're now to our agenda, but because we do not have an executive director yet, and we do have one coming on board shortly, it is my suggestion that we continue this meeting until we have an executive director. Um, we can recognize and approve the minutes from the last meeting, but again, I would prefer to wait until we have the executive director. Our last meeting was On January 25th. January 25th. Yep. Yes, that's true. And so Peter, do you have any objection to us continuing the meeting till the July 25th date? No objection um, with just the caveat that to the extent um, to the extent that we are going to, uh, we could have, we can, we can book a community meeting. Uh, just as background, I'm looking at, at some of the comments. Um, you know, one thing I do think is important is we're going to have an executive director. They're coming next week in order to really sync and have everything. And just for everyone's edification, the civilian review board meeting had a heavy caseload. So we have to do another batch of cases um, it, this month uh, in May, uh, we're having a second meeting that wasn't, you know, you, it's, it's more than the quarterly meetings because there were so many cases. And I think putting all of those together and possibly, uh, judge having, a, a community meeting, maybe in between now and that June meeting, um, uh, possibly after the second civilian review board meeting, if it all aligns, um, you know, we could, we could do that. Um, but. I am in favor of waiting until we have an executive director and being able to have this be a forum after the second civilian review board meeting, having the a new executive director join um, and joining that meeting uh, would be would be productive, especially after the two sessions of the civilian review board um, where we've we've uh, made dispositions on cases. Uh, partly because we want to be able to process those cases and that and that's priority and also introduce the executive director. Um, so I'd agree there. Um, so what what are you, what's your thinking, uh, Judge, on this? I agree with you. We can publicly announce a new meeting date um, once we have the executive director and be able to uh, introduce them to the community also. Yeah, so should we uh, judge one thing I would say here is I tend to lean in favor of what the comments say. I do think July may be too far off, especially with the new executive director for them to make their debut. I would think that like maybe in the earlier half of June, having the meeting and keeping our July date as well. But like on the earlier half of June, where we would have already had both of the civilian review board sessions, um, we had one and now we're having a second one in May. Um, I think that would be a good use of time to just push it a little earlier. Maybe if that July meeting is being pushed earlier, or maybe we keep both. But I, I, I do lean in favor of of uh, the the comments here. I do think July may be too far off, especially for a new executive director. I think they should be introduced to the community a little earlier at an OPAC commission uh, community meeting and, and be able to like sit in that chair uh, a little earlier for, for the community. Um, so if OPAC can uh, orchestrate and organize getting a meeting for June when the new executive director comes, again, for everyone's edification, that will be, um, Mariah, correct me if I'm wrong, next week or the week after, correct? For um, for the new EDs um, onboarding? No, uh, for yeah. the new, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, he, yep, next week, he'll be on. Okay, awesome, so that yeah, will be next week. For June, if we can. Yeah, I was about to say, can we, would you guys, like, this is just my proposal, but would you guys mind if we do it before the CRB? Just because I know there's some upset 
upset um like people in the comments and people are that's an actual person here today um and I agree. Met some other people if we could do it before crb that'd be like i think crb's on the 21st um is it the 22nd the 22nd is it the 21st or the 22nd just to be sure Okay, sorry, it's the 21st. Yeah, so that's on the 21st. I mean, it does give us just next week. Um, and next week, the only day I could do that is Friday the 17th. I mean, not next week, the week. Uh, next week, I, I, I could do Friday the 10th and Friday the following the week. Let's do that. Friday the 10th? Mm-hmm. That works for me. Okay. Public right. comment gets you gets you where you need to go. I, I do think it is important to get the executive director here. Thank you all for your public comments. I I, I think it I, I I get the concerns. Um the only reason I was saying after the second CRB meeting is because we'll have dispositions and possibly some uh, comment, people can make comments based on what the commissioner says with respect to any recommendations, but Look, at, I, I think sooner is better and, and being able oh, to keep the timelines is better. Um, so yeah, let's do next Friday, what time? Let's just kind of get this set up now. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Um, what time works for- 11 o'clock. 11? At the same time. Okay. And that works yep. for you too? Yes, yeah. Okay. So we announce it. Yeah. yeah, so I since we do not have our new executive director as of yet, we are going to continue this meeting until May 10th at 11 o'clock. Yep. That makes sense to me. Great. I uh, appreciate the patience with the public and I appreciate everyone's work and, and presence here. Um, I, I, I really do hope just to kind of put a pin it, like just kind of put a finer point on it. I really do hope that the public acknowledges or realizes that it does make sense to have the executive director on the commission meeting. And since they're starting next week, it would be good to have them present um, and have a meeting that has three commissioners on board and, and present and not wait till July in any case, right? Like that shouldn't be the first time you're hearing from the new executive director. So um, I, I do appreciate the public's giving their comments and being, um, you know, open to the movement and, and I think influencing us uh, getting that done for May 10th. Um, I think it is important to, to hear from the new ED and, 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 and make things happen and to have the public give their comments. So I just wanted to reiterate that because I, I think the public here did have a, a strong voice in, in making sure we we had them, this meeting uh, continued sooner rather than later. Um, um, so I'm going to close this meeting officially as of now. I thank everyone for their attendance and um, for their comments that were posted and we will answer and address the issues that are before us. Thank you, the meeting is officially closed. All right, thank you. Okay, let's go off the record. Yes, ma'am.